Yes, monopolies can be good. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Wait, what? What? Monopolies being good or bad is more nuanced than the talking heads will let you to believe. There are good monopolies and there's a lot of bad monopolies as well. And breaking a monopoly is a lot harder to do well than you might think. There's no shortage of bad monopolies that are not contributing really to the world or to their society. But let's focus on the good monopolies and the different side of the story that nobody ever talks about. Good monopolies are companies that serve a superior product at a cheaper price and in general helping their society and their community around them. And they're not using political or economic tools to try to crush their competitors. Let's take a local supermarket. That's the only supermarket in town. Well, if you have that, it might be seen as a monopoly in theory and in practice. But this does not mean that it's really bad for the society. And this is exactly what Walmart does. It uses the law and its political influence and economic tools to make sure that it's a monopoly. So Walmart often goes into a smaller town and they set up a store there. And they can have lower prices, not only because they are very efficient, but also because they can subsidize this store with other stores profits and they also can hire less people on full time which in the US it means that they can pay less social contributions. Most businesses can't just hire people on a part time they will get in trouble. So they have lower prices and they annihilate all of the competitors. And of course when the competitors have been annihilated, they increase their prices. Now the extra revenue doesn't go to the local economy, it goes to the shareholders of Walmart. So in other ways it's a way to just completely destroy the local economy and make sure that all the money from this local community is going to some shareholders. A lot of people will say this is a problem with capitalism. That's cap. <laughs> Taylor knew that. That's cap. <laughs> But it's actually a form of crony capitalism or you could say a mild form of fascism because Walmart is using its political influence and its economic tools to make sure to destroy their competitors. If everyone could just hire people on part time or everyone was forced to hire people on full time, then Walmart would lose a big advantage here. And of course they would still have the money and the scale of business that they have from other. But that would reduce a large portion of the incentive to go into these smaller towns. And you will see that when you dig into this here that a lot of so-called bad monopolies are actually using the law that they have formulated themselves to keep their monopoly. This is also known as regulatory capture. Finding and breaking a monopoly is extremely hard and dangerous because when do a company become a bad monopoly? And who decides this? And how do you break it up? The Department of Justice answers all these questions in the United States of America. But the DOJ is funded and appointed by Congress. In other words, they're not elected. And Congress is filled with people that are very easy to buy. And they are also ideologically motivated. That means that they might end up using the DOJ to take down the people that they are not aligned with politically. So it's not ruled by law, but it's ruled by men, which is a very slippery slope. And it feels good when your political party is in power and they can take down your enemies. But what, what happens when the tides change or you change your political stance? And now suddenly you are in a banana republic and businesses have to spend more time and energy serving the politicians instead of serving us, you and me the customers. And in today's America, you will see all big companies are lobbying in Washington DC. And Washington DC is the richest state in the country and it's the, one of the richest places in the world. And the politicians are not earning that much money. So you gotta ask, where is all that money coming from? Where's the money? Government. It's coming from the big companies lobbying. So remember this, when your favorite politicians say that he can make a new law to fix everything, be very wary about this because it's very easy that it ends up hurting more people than it actually helps. I would combat monopolies completely different. But if you're interested in this kind of video, tell me and I will make another video about this. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. That is, of course, if you're subscribed. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you there. Cheers.